Yo, what's up, everyone? My name is Trey Wood. We're saving our way down here today on Grand Fall 5. I'm gonna give you another one of these videos where we're gonna be talking about the next generation graphics that we're gonna be able to see in this game. I mean, they're very amazing and eye popping. It's surprising that we see the first person mode really come into Grand Fall 5, but I am gonna be posting more Grand Fall 5 videos up from today until the game release. And if you're really enjoying these videos, then go ahead and press that like button. If you know my channel, to subscribe to see more videos of Grand Fall 5. But well, let's get started, and we're gonna show you a few images of the guns. I mean, here's the thing the guns now have a scratchy whatsoever, a discoloration texture every time you use it. So that's one of the engines or mechanics that you would need to have in the next generation console. I mean, this is look very eye popping, even though you can see puddles as well, too. Even more better than ever, because in first person. They're making a lot of things to even change, especially when you see the pistol, I mean, pistol, any gun, rifle, or SMG, you're going to be able to see the, t the scratches, little spots, or discoloration on the gun, that way, I mean, the realistic of the rails, that way you're able to say, wow, this really is a nice gun, or what's or something to see in there as well, too. So, here's another one. The next few images I'm going to show you right here is obviously, well, we're... You see lightning on here as well, and another thing is where it's like I mean better than ever because you have like better weather effects can be added on into Grand Fall 5 as well too. But what's our is another way of saying oh wow they're adding something in there. So you have some like burst like I mean as a lens flare, basically in the engine this is what you have to see. I mean bare lightning, bare lightning, bare lightning will be the sun and the moon because even though it brings out the shadows a little bit more into the gameplays even though and also for dawn as well too so that way you're able to get your mind across and say wow they really done a lot of things now for lighting would be something way of saying whoa this is different because now you got lighting on the cars that bring out neon lights and we're gonna lights for normal vehicles for but also neon lights for exotic sporty cars like if you're a fan for the San Toro but you also have lighting for the cars at night because it brings out like a lens flare effect. Also, whatsoever you're going to get denser traffic as well, too. Because in denser traffic, even though in Grand Fall 5 it didn't render that far for you to see a lot of cars, in next generation version, I mean, you see lighting here, it's going to be at a far distance render. That way, that means a lot of cars is going to be able to show up every time you're like if you scoped in or far range, then the cars. Well, we're going to be able to see them at a far distance. In our words, long range. That's right, long range to see more cars from short range to long. Since you're a big fan of FPS games, you're going to be able to see an interior of your cars as well too. I mean, here's another thing. If you're a big fan, of course, you're going to be able to see being cockpit view of the, you know, airplane, the Titan or the Jets or your basically your car, your old car, truck, vehicle, the tank, however, I like to see how you're able to see in first person in a tank. I mean, we have not seen any information about that, but yeah, I mean, you do see lighting and the better just to be able to see. But yeah, I mean, for a car, I mean, I'm, I'm showing an image right now. This is how you can see. I mean, I hope you get some new interior designs for your car as well, too, since you're going to be able to be in first person. You can also see what you're listening to in your car. If you have nitrous and stuff, I mean, I like to see if you have nitrous, but also techno monitor your miles per hour and your turbo boost as well too I mean just in case but yeah and that includes for jets and also a cockpit of another jet or motorcycle and motorcycle designs would be a way of say wow but motorcycle designs is another way of saying is this gonna be impossible in next generation when we find out and that's how we can able to be surprised so Merlin life marine Marine life is coming to Grand Fall 5, obviously. I mean, yeah, I mean, back in Grand Fall 5, current gen, it wasn't that great, but now in Grand Fall 5 next gen, you're getting more detail of the ocean. You're getting, like, you're probably seeing more fish, more sharks, probably more sea animals to see in under the sea. <laughs> yeah, sea, sea, and under the sea. But, yeah, I mean, more sharks would be in way say, oh my god, we don't want to deal with this. And the trees whatsoever, the trees, the grass, the the reef and stuff, I, mean, I forgot how do you call it, those can be like more detailed, that way it's going to be able to blend more, I mean, not, not be too blandy or blendy, otherwise it'll be like another way of saying it suck, 
but the sunlight that reflects this reflects the water is going to have a little shine even though it's including into the lighting effects so yeah that's the one thing they even watch out for as well too i mean you better be able to see to believe there's also better effects for cars as vehicles as well too even though if you're out in the rainy day or in a sunny day you're going to be able to see once you're if you're burning tires or what sort of trying to make more trick then get ready to see realistic dust effects coming into grand Theft 5 i mean this is also going to be realistic fog effects too but this is another engine where when you're burning your tires i mean obviously you're going to be blue out dust but i mean dust smoke in ground floor 5 in current gen it didn't it did okay but there's gonna be desert smoke for your tires possibly for that i mean possibly already gonna be a nail for that also rain effects where if it's a wet road and you're burning tires like driving through a road then instead of having like a little bit of water effects it's gonna be like more denser water or right? every time you're running out around with your car in a wet road even though i'm showing you the image right here because this is where i'm saying this is dust i mean even though this is i mean in this image there's like more detail of grass or weed around here as well too i mean yeah dust better dust effects is going to be coming to ground Fall 5 and why i'm saying this because anyway it's a way of making the game realistic in this case possibly but yeah but you gotta trust me on this one so now, uh, all of the images I'm showing you right now, there's also like a little bit more detail. Every more detail right here. Because basically, every time you shoot your gun or fire a rocket, it's going to possibly brow dust. That way, it's making the gun realistic. Even though this is an image that I have not shown you, where bullet rooms will pop up. Even though glass effects like broken glass will, like this, it's where if you get shot, then you're probably going to have a broken glass every time you show up your phone or anywhere else. Possibly anywhere else as well too. You all see in a KSC. I'm thinking about if it's gonna be like a trunk, like you're able to open your trunk online as well too. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. Maybe you probably will open your trunk just in case for like certain purposes. But another thing that I'm trying to say is another detail, as in not from another detail. Bullet wounds. Like instead of having like a cut or a bruise on your face, you are actually gonna have bullet holes onto you as well too. How is this possible? Ask them. I mean, this is where we're saying, oh, so now we're having bullet holes. That way, those sort of bullet holes and you exactly bleeding out on Grand Theft 5 next gen. I mean, that's one way to make the game a little bit more cool and a little bit more fun. Well, for you to see, but possibly making it a little bit more realistic, in my opinion. So, yeah, that's one thing to add on. Finally, better texture. So, the game needed texture, more texture out of Grand Fall 5 current gen, now next gen. This is where we're gonna have an extra texture boost into the game. I mean, if you can notice by the trees and grass that we're gonna be able to see, I mean, from Grand Fall 5 current gen, it didn't exactly pop up, even though the trees didn't do it. And Grand Fall 5 next gen, the trees, the palm trees they see in California, California, the palm trees, yeah, call them palm trees, grass, the weed, weeds and dust like the hillbilly style there's gonna be a lot of texture into them that way and also photos as photos puddles as well too in this case when i mean puddles i mean if it's raining outside there's gonna be some puddles that you're gonna be able to see if i'm saying photos then there's a mistake i mean we don't have, i don't know about photos but i could be coming into next gen as well too that's when we find out but yeah i mean that was the last thing i'm talking about right now so yeah, so basically, also another thing to add on is if the night choice is going to be included into Grand Fall 5. But I was thinking about making an idea into Grand Fall 5, so but somebody somewhat heard of it. But I'm wondering if night choice will be the Nas N20. If you're a big fan of night, Need for Speed, then you know what the heck I'm talking about. Or Fast and Furious, then you know what I'm talking about. I was wondering if that is coming out into the game as well, too, to add as a customization perk to add on for your cars by anything but that could be something but i'm not sure but anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed this video but i'm up yeah i'll see you guys i hope you kind of get the idea of gravel 5 coming into next gen i'm very hype the hype is real people but anyway guys i'm trey will or shave out of weight and i'll see you guys later